Hello everyone. <laughs> Welcome back to our channel. Um, so there's a new collection from Odin's Eye that's releasing on the 18th, 17th, 17th. Um, and uh, yeah, it's really cute and we're gonna play around with it. So um, I guess what even is the collection called? Saga Freya. Saga Freya? Well, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, <laughs> if you're interested in seeing the collection, two looks, some swatches, all that good stuff, then just keep on watching. All right, um, I already have my eyelids primed. I used MAC Paint Pot to like clean up my eyebrows and then I used Danessa Meyer's Color Fix in white for my eyelid. I do like this as a primer just because it doesn't crease and MAC Paint Pot has been creasing on me recently so I'm using this as a primer right now until I finish up my paint pot and can go back to my like wet and wild so I've been kind of like mixing the two. Um, it is a little bit sticky um, so it's one of those things where you kind of have to be careful with it. Reason. We have to be careful with it. Hi, bubs. And uh, just ignore my hair at the moment because it just looks like this. Um, I did get it nice and platinum. I filmed a video on that. I'll probably use what I look like today as the outro for that as well. Um, but I'm really happy with the fact that I was able to get it so icy white. So that's exciting. Anyway, let's move into the palette. Um, so for my look, I am using the Chapter 1 Tears of... Nope. Wrong one. The chapter two, Cat with Golden Carriage. Um, the Cat's Breath palette. Um, of course, blues. <laughs> um, I have used the other palettes as well, so I already know what they're like, so I haven't used the blue one yet. I was holding off, um, so I'm so sorry I'm doing another blue look. First, I'm going to go into my Refer number 13 brush and a mix of Bad Temper and Cat Hair. This is Bad Temper, this is Cat Hair. Um, I thought it would kind of make a nice base for what I was going for today. Um, mostly Bad Temper, but Cat Hair I just thought might cool it down a little, be really nice. Um, I do wish the mirror was bigger on these palettes, it's just this little circle. I do wish it was like a full size mirror, but it could be worse. I can still look in it, so like whatever. Um, I'm going to basically just wing this out. That's the start of my look. Is a wing, basically. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm just trying to get it to basically like the tail of my brow is what I aim for when I do a winged out shadow look. Um, my eyes and eyebrows are both different shapes, so it's not always gonna turn out even. But like, I don't really care that much. Tbh. All right, that's where I'm gonna start with a big honking blue wing. Um, then I'm going to go in with the rougher 14 brush. It's just a little bit bigger. Um, and I'm going to take the shade Catnip, which is right here. And I'm going to blend um, over and under that. Um, I'm just going to keep building. So it's going to be back and forth, back and forth um, and layering just until I get the exact look I'm going for. So I'm using the light blue to kind of extend that blue in like a more blended fashion. So I'm going under first, and then I'm going to go on top of it. And then back in with Bad Temper and Cat Hair to, you know, build and go. So I'm just going to flip flop back and forth, so just be aware of that. Right, I'm gonna start with that and do a little bit more finishing touches while we go um, but I don't mind the way that looks. Then I'm gonna go in with uh, just a Morphe brush it doesn't have a name and I'm gonna use the shade bling which is right here. This is phenomenal. What a beautiful color. <laughs> it looks so so pretty on the eyelids. I wasn't sure what to expect with these. Um, I do like Odin's Eye Shimmer Formula but it's not like out of this world for me. It's not as good as like Kaleidos. Um, outside of their, oh, I guess I lied. No, I think it's just the Alva 2 palette where the shimmers aren't as spicy to me. Like this newer, um, the formula they normally go for is my favorite. The Alva 2, they're nice, but they're not as exciting as these. Um, so I'm just going to take this shade and kind of blend it over top. I'm going to put it in the inner corner and then kind of blend it into the 
higher part of the wing. I don't want to go like right over what we just did, otherwise that defeats the purpose of blending so much. Taking a random old fluffy brush and diffusing that shimmer a little bit. And then I'm going to go back and add some more. <laughs> I think this shade specifically is one of my favorite shimmers from Odin's Eye. I mean, this is gorgeous. <laughs> and I'm sure on camera it doesn't translate as pretty and sparkly, but goddamn. I'm gonna go back in with Bad Temper, that deepest tealy blue shade, and kind of really intensify this area. This shade right here, Wool Ball, looks real funky, you know? It's really just kind of like a goldy, um, shimmer, really. It's got a lot of gold in it, a little bit of like pinky purple, um, but mostly gold. I'm just gonna take a Real Techniques Defining Crease Brush and kind of put this everywhere else. So I'm gonna put it right over top of the blue, so like along the brow bone, and kind of diffuse it into that blue, and then blend it further this way as well. <laughs> And then I'm going to take it and put it all up in this inner corner area for some extra dimension and shine. And then I'm gonna go in with a BH Cosmetics Studio Pro number eight brush and I'm gonna use the shade Cat Star, which is like this zebra striped blue for my inner corner. Yeah, this is a really pretty shade too. It's like a nice icy blue. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing on the lower lash line for the teals, um, the matte teals. So it's not going to be anything fancy. If I change my mind, I'll let you guys know and I'll come back and do it on camera. Um, but it's really just going to be me, be me running those two matte shades on the lower lash line. So. <coughs> so, BRB. All right, and this is the completed look. I didn't really feel like doing my hair like really intensely so I didn't I just uh, literally brushed it out with my fingernails so uh, here is this completed look and on to the next one okay so I already have my eye primed um, I'm going to be using the Freya Saga palette so this one is double-sided um, I'm not sure that we have mentioned or I don't know if Rachel mentioned yet in her part of the video but we have had this collection for um, a couple of weeks now once this is uploaded so we've had some time to play so we probably won't use all of the palettes in this video but we can get more looks out as requested um, anyway here is one side of the palette this is the part that I will be doing for the top portion of my eye and then the other side are these gorgeous gorgeous like cranberry jewel tones oh. So I'll probably use some of this side on my lower lash line, I'm thinking, because uh, I have this dress here that is like way cool and <laughs> I want to sort of match as much as possible if I can. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to be starting on this side here. First, I'm going to go into the shade Defend, which is just gorgeous green. And I'm going to be putting that just right here. Fix my mirror, yeah, that'll work. So I'm going to be fluffing that pretty much all up in here and I'll probably just take it about halfway I don't know why I said probably I've already done the other eye I took it about halfway <laughs> so I really wanted that green laid down as a base and I really love this color of green like I feel like it's just so 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 beautiful and then I'm going to be taking one of the brushes from the collection this is the FR2 which is just a, a smaller blending brush and I'm going I'm going into the deepest shade which is called strength right down here and I'm going to pack that on my outer corner and with the the play time that I've had with these uh, these mats are not great on uh, their building quality necessarily so I would start darker first or at least just be very uh, careful as far as how much uh, of the powder shadow that you're laying down before you build another one upon it um, because it will end up going a little patchy. 
Okay, so now that I have that laid down, I also, I love this color as an addition to this color story, this deep, cool tone brown. I just think it's so, so stunning. Uh, but I'm gonna take another brush from the collection. This is the FR1, which is just a bigger fluffy brush. And I'm gonna mix the shade Truth and Intelligent. So this brown and the orange right here, and I'm going to use that to uh, blend out that shade. And um, as far as these brushes go, I like them, um, but they are, I, I tend to have this feeling about most brushes like this. They, they feel a little real techniques, which is no shade towards real techniques or to Odin's eye because I love uh, a brush like that, but you don't necessarily have to go for these brushes, I don't think. Um, I do like them and they're very cute and I think they're a good addition to the collection. Um, but unless you are just really craving a brush from Odin's Eye, I think you can find similar enough brushes to this for a better price point. I'm gonna diffuse that up a bit as well. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back into the brush with that deepest brown on it, and I'm just going to tap up to blend a little bit um, and make sure I still have the depth that I want. Okay, awesome. Now I'm gonna go into the shade Inherit, which is just this uh, deep brown shimmer. Um, and I'm going to take that on this random flat brush from Morphe. I'm going to spray it for the sake of fallout, um, but I'm using this as a base for some other shimmers that I'm gonna lay down. Um, this shade on its own though is so beautiful. Like this as a one shadow look would be just absolutely stunning in my opinion. I don't know that I'll ever get around to doing that, but if if I do, like I'll surely keep you updated. Mm -hmm. I also am going to keep this a little sharper than I normally do for my uh, shadow looks. I wanted to, you know, step out of my comfort zone a little, do a little cut crease moment. <laughs> See where I land after that. Okay, now that that shade is down, I'm gonna go with my finger into the shade Spark down here. Um, wait, 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 no, Spark is right here, <laughs> right down here. And I'm going to layer that over. Uh, this is a really cool shade. It has like orange and green and brown and some red in it. It's very interesting, uh, but I really think it looks so nice over top of this cooler bronze that we have. It, just, it really ties in with the green really well, I feel. Um, now I'm going to go back into that deeper matte and just make sure the outer portion of this looks the way that I want it to, that it's like blended well enough, and that it has the depth that is, you know, working there. Oh, yes, and then I'm going to add a little bit of Mature right here, um, just to my, my outer corner. Um, this is a little more, uh, it's a, like a satin, warm-toned kind of bronze, um, and I think it goes really well with the like the warmer shades that we use to blend out the the deepest matte there it helps tie those in really well um it's not my favorite shade by any stretch like it's it's the least uh textured and unique of all of these but it is a very mature shade like <laughs> i imagine that to be a very typical one shadow look for a lot of people so um it's definitely a nice addition it's just not anything to write home about IMO. Uh, then I'm going to go into Promise right here, which is like this gorgeous sort of duochrome. It reminds me a little bit of the shade Nutty from like the Midas and uh, Smoky Glow palette. It has that sort of feel to it, but I'm going to add that onto the inner corner and my brow bone. I like that shape. That's really pretty. Um, then I'm going to take like this random sort of fluffy brush and I'm gonna go in with Compassion right there. And this one is interesting because it's a, it's a green, yellow, pink duochrome, but it doesn't have a lot of sparkle to it. Like it's very satiny for all of those shifts. Um, and somehow I find that appealing. So I'm gonna put that over top of my inner corner and uh, on the brow bone as well. And it makes it a little, just slightly more like lime in nature. I don't know, I think it's a gorgeous, gorgeous addition to this palette. So I like that well enough. I'm going to go ahead and do my base, finish my brows, that kind of thing, and then we will be back for the lower lash line. 
All right, it's lower lash line time. Uh, as promised, I'm jumping into the other side of the palette. First, I'm going in with the shade Passion. It says Passion, right? Yeah, Passion, which is like this red here. <laughs> and I'm taking that on just a uh, pencil brush from Unicorn Cosmetics that we got in PR like 5,000 years ago. This shade is so pretty. This is so pretty. Mm. And then on a random fluffy brush from Morphe, I'm gonna go in with the shade Love, which is like a peachy matte up here. And I'm gonna use that to blend out the edges of passion. And then I'm gonna go in with the shade Mystery, which is this gorgeous like cranberry shimmer. Oh, love this, I've used this shade a few times now. <laughs> And I'm just going to put that right here in the center mainly. And then I'm going to take a mix of the shades Happy and Crush. Happy is this purpley one up here. Crush is like this really gorgeous orangey peachy type shimmer. I'm going to take a Happy first, which is the more pink one. And then Crush and layer that over and make sure passion is not completely lost in all of that. And yeah, I think that will do it. So let me go ahead and finish up my lips and I'll put on some mascara, maybe some eyeliner, I don't know. And we'll see what happens there. So I will see you in a moment. Okay, sorry if you can hear children in the background. It sounds like Charlotte is stealing uh, silverware or something uh <laughs> anyway this is the completed look i did use in my waterline a little of this uh liner from la girl it's, uh fiery from la girl Whoa. which is like this gorgeous cranberry and it really like tied in the lower lash line i, I like this look it's giving very like christmas chic a little bit but like in a cute way <laughs> um but yes that is the final look here so let's get on to final thoughts or the second look. I guess I don't know which order we're doing this in. <laughs> so I'm gonna wait for you to stop moving this crinkle, sorry, this frizzle. Um, first let's address the elephant in the room, which is the packaging. Um, cute, it's albeit a little gimmicky looking, a little gaudy. A little, yeah. um, Claire's. What's that brand that does like the literal books of makeup? Storybook? Storybook Cosmetics. It gives Storybook Cosmetics a little bit, which I think reads a little cheap, but it's not bad. Um, so there's three palettes. Um, two of them are like one side, like they're just, they've got a nice little book. I don't find them to be too, too, too bulky. So they're a little thick, but they're not like, they're not over the top thick. No. You know, they're going to be easily stackable in your collection. They would look so cute on a little bookshelf. So, um, but then they do have another that is double sided. So the double sided one is a little bit bulkier because it's like a book. So you can, oh God, so you can <laughs> turn the page gently. So, um, yeah, <laughs> um, I do think it's a little excessive, but they did it in a nice, cute, um, workable way where it's not so big kind of like some of glam lights packaging yeah. where it doesn't fit in your collection like it still works all right so um, i'm not going to complain about the packaging too much it's just not my personal fave i would have been fine with just a nice glossy black but that's yeah, not I would have been their fine vibe. had they not gone with my well, hair's driving us like a book format mm -hmm. i'm not a huge fan of it but it doesn't like it might have turned me off from buying this personally so we're going to insert swatches in order of the ones we're talking about. So bear that in mind. They're going to be rolling over us throughout the video. Okay. Um, the first palette we have here is the, again, the Saga Freya, Freya Saga palette. This one is very self-explanatory. I think this is probably, I don't know, what they call the big mamma jamma of the bunch. Um, but you have the one side, which is just full of these gorgeous, like, jewel tones almost like mm -hmm. berry jewel tones they're so so rich and pretty um i love the addition of the silver here though i have yet to use it honestly but <laughs> i think that's a really fun addition and i love this middle shade mystery it's so beautiful yeah beautiful it's, it's gorgeous the shimmers are on par with every other odin's eye shimmer 
Well, go ahead, sorry. <laughs> I feel like the shimmers are on par with every single Odin's Eye uh, shimmer I've tried, which it means really good. Um, and the, there, there are some different formulas. So some of them are really textured and some of them are just like a cream and metallic and some of them are more of a satin. It just sort of depends. Mm -hmm. I feel that this is more in line with their Nords collection and their smaller palettes, whereas the Alva 2 does not have this format of shimmer. So if you have the Alva 2 and the shimmers aren't your favorite, um, they're different than than what's in here, in yeah. my opinion. They're they're just less less glittery, still very beautiful, but less less fun, less spicy, spicy. Yeah. And then the other side, this is a color story that I wasn't sure about at first. Oh my god, I, I drooled. I was confused by it. It's not. Um, I just was a little. I think it was the the two pops of color in here, the green and the orange together. I was like, I don't understand how that's gonna work. I'm not sure about that one. I actually quite enjoy this side, which is what I used on my eyes today. Um, it's really, 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 really stunning, and I love like the deepest cool tone brown in here. I love that shimmery brown too, and the, yeah, and inherit. It's it's so beautiful. I love this color story, um, and again, the shimmers. Some of them are really crazy glittery and like special and duochromatic and others are not as much um but i like that you get a good variety in here mm -hmm. um the matte formula is similar to the other matte formulas i've tried from them uh which means it's not buildable okay so you'll want to work darkest to light in my opinion otherwise you're going to have some issues really i don't have that issue with their mattes oh i so do oh. i tried to build the other day on top of like one of the lavender mats mm -hmm. in there and it did not happen <laughs> oh that would make sense um yeah, that's the first palette. I do, I, there is something to say because Odin's Eye really knows how to put together a funky yet cohesive, cohesive color story. They do that in all of their like smaller palettes and I, it's just so fun because no matter what you do, it's going to come out dope. Like it's never going to be boring. So yeah. that's awesome. Um, oh, oh, one. Um, and then we have Sava of Freya, Chapter 1, Tears of Freya. This is the Amber Tears palette written by Odin's Eye. <laughs> Uh, this is what she looks like here. Um, the thing I, so we have these like zebra striped shimmers and these marbly shimmers. Um, swatch them before you put them on your eyes because they're different than what they may look like in the pan, kind of like the Huda ones. Um, but they are very nice. They're very pretty. Um, I'm really excited to use amber. I haven't used it yet because it's just a gold, but it looks, it's like an antique greenish gold. <clears throat> it looks pretty. Um, I have not personally played with this side yet. I actually could have today with my shirt, but I didn't. Um, <laughs> it's just a little more pastel. Yeah. Tend to go. It's a little, it's definitely springy. It's fun. I absolutely adore amethyst, this purple shade right here. This is so unique. I don't think I have almost any matte shadows in this color other than maybe in the Tahiti 3 from yeah. Perfect would be closest. Um, or Carnival 3 Tahiti. Um, but I do like this palette. Um, I, well, I like the, from swatches and the color story. I've it's fun. played with it, but not on its own. Like I've used a shade here and there and I was like, oh, that's very, very pretty. I like that. But as a whole, I wouldn't buy this one for myself. Yeah. Know? For our, our collection and what we wear, it's not perfect for us. Am I mad having it? No, not at all. Would I have spent my money on it? Mm. No, probably not. So, <laughs> um, and that honestly, that could be said for the entire collection. Honestly, just for the packaging alone, um, I would have probably been turned off to purchasing it. Um, so that's just my my two cents. It's so, worth mentioning, given that we're filming a review on this and we have not bought these products. So yeah, um, but I I'm not I'm definitely not upset at owning them because I really really like them. I just don't know as I would have purchased them before knowing what I know now. Yeah, you know what I mean. And then we, lastly, we have chapter two, Cat with Golden Carriage, the Cat's Breath Palette, written by Onzai. Um, <laughs> I, the packaging is really, it is cute. Like, all the decoration and, like, a lot was put into this. Yeah. I can appreciate that. Uh, I'm not an ethereal fairy. I know I look perfect and beautiful and gorgeous, but <laughs> I, that's not my vibe. So, <laughs> I know a little pixie cut, and, but I'm not a fairy. And so it's not my vibe, but I, I can appreciate the packaging. And it was perfect because I used this one today and Raisin, my little kitty, was in here with me and it was the cat's palette. So it works out. Um, this is what we're looking at here. Um, obviously, this is my shit. Like, let's be real. I love, 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 love blues. The shade Wool Ball has to be one of the most impressive shimmers I've ever used in my life. Like, look at this. 
It is so nice. I put it all over like my brow bone and stuff. Uh, oh, it's so fun. Um, and then Bling was the shimmer I used on my lid, and this is so pretty. Uh, um, the one thing I will say about this palette is like the shade soft. This um this shimmer right here it's whatever i didn't use it on my eyes it looks kind of boring and swatched um but i do get a little bit confused with the oranges and then a cool tone brown i don't know um kaleidos kind of has it like that but the, the cool tone brown is like super super deep so it just adds a lot of depth um but i wish they would have i guess this is a cool tone shimmer i don't know what i'm talking about i was gonna say i wish they would have had a cool tone shimmer but wool ball is a cool tone shimmer so I don't know. That's it's just a color story that's a little weird to look at, like most of. I mean, a lot of their color stories, like we were saying, put us out of our comfort zone a little bit. Yeah, um, but I do, this may be my favorite of the three, um, but these are close in my mind. Yeah, if you if you were wanting to buy the collection, I would, I would recommend the Saga of Freya actual book palette, and then the uh, the chapter two palette. I think these are the best options. Uh, this one is cute or whatever, but I think you can get the similar vibe from these, like those really pretty cranberry type tones in the double sided one. Yeah, I agree. The, on the only thing is that like that pinky purple that lavender, lavender type yeah. shade, that one is just so unique that so it's, you know, it makes it kind of like, I want it. Um, they did also have brushes in this collection. I believe there are definitely more than this. Uh, we've used them, <laughs> so some of them are missing or whatever. Um, they're good. That's all. We're not. I. We are not the biggest fan of like a synthetic brush necessarily. Not that I don't like them, but I prefer something a little scratchier <clears throat> in texture for my eyeshadow brushes. Um, these are really soft. They they're very soft. They work really well. If you like a Real Techniques or Eco Tools kind of brush, you'll like these. Mm -hmm. But that's. That's about all. Like, they're fine. They're cute. I like them. I like mm -hmm. having them, but that's all. I do like the little ombre brush cup. It's really cute. Yeah, the brush cup is cute. It's just, it is really cute overall. It's cute. Um, but what I have bought the brushes, absolutely never. And even with trying them, would I buy the brushes? Probably yeah. not. They're good. Um, I don't know pricing, so, you know, that would change my mind on probably some of these thoughts, because I don't think there were any prices on the sheet that we got. Uh, no, I didn't see Um, that. but anything over ten dollars I wouldn't spend this brush set. <laughs> yeah I don't know I'm sure that they'll upcharge it a bit so I don't, I don't know that I would recommend it but if you want it and you think it's cute then I don't think you'll hate it. <laughs> no you won't be disappointed. Um and then I think the only other thing they had was a little color switch. Um I don't know if they're gonna sell the PR box. Um I know a lot of brands do that but it did come but it did come with two really nice travel bags. So on the inside of the of the bag they sent, there's this clear one. So this would be great for you know any liquid products because it's rubbery, so you can clean it out. If anything breaks, you know everything will be fine. Um, and then they've got this really pretty like satin moth one. Oh, it's so soft and it has this like little brush section here or like eyeliners and whatever. Mm -hmm. And it's a really cute little like stacky bag. I don't it's know if they'll be selling these, but I know a lot of brands do like sell the PR boxes. Mm -hmm. So um, if you're if you're somebody who likes travel cases, you might actually really enjoy this one. I think I think that I'll get a lot of use out of this. Um, t like for. You know, like if we like if we were to travel, like I would use these because they are really even nice. a makeup case like that just to transport makeup from in here to a different room of our house. Wonderful, like to the bathroom or to your room, to yeah, get or whatever. Like nice chef's kiss. I like these. I haven't used this actually, but I assume it works like any other color switch. Oh, it's just empty. This is. Is the color. No, <laughs> I thought that the heart was like a different color or something. Oh, there was like a styrofoam piece in there. Oh, there's like a little heart cut out in here, which is cute. Um, and honestly, the tin I would get use out of when I'm done with the color switch. So <laughs> yeah, I've tried like a color switch product before. They're not my favorite. Like I don't really find that they do that well for me. This would be a good tin if you um, melt bar soap and put it in here for oh, cleaning washes. That would be cute for like a soap brow thing too. Soap brow thing. It's a little bulky for soap brows. Yeah. Earring holder, like. Yeah. Yeah. rings this is you know I can always use a nice little small tin for shit like that so love it um or weed <laughs> weed some could say you know if you dabble in that category um, <laughs> but I do really like the eyeshadows they are beautiful they are up to par with the Norns collection which we raved about I would say the Norns collection is still far better than this one just in terms of color story and how 
unique it was. Like the Norns was like so nice. That's like god tier for us. It was so beautiful. Um, I do really, really like this, and I'm I have a feeling I'll still get a lot of use out of these palettes um, because they are they're not big, but they still have like some a lot to of them. yeah. Like you can play around a lot, and I really like the shimmer formula. Um, I found it's lasted pretty well. It is mm -hmm. pretty creamy, like a super shock shadow type of thing. But I didn't notice that they flake off or like the day really or bad. Yeah. yeah, anything like that. Um, if I prep my eyes properly, so. Uh, those were our thoughts. Let us know down below. I would love to hear your thoughts on the packaging and the collection as a whole, what you think. Um, what's your experience with Odin's Eyes as a brand? We have only experienced them in oh, a yes. PR bubble. I need to mention this to everybody else. <sighs> um, what is it? More Shadow More please. Shadows, please. More Shadows, please. On Instagram, did a whole thing when she ordered the Norns collection from them. Um, and she got a dud and they were very unhelpful with their customer service in, in returns and things like that. Uh, so if that is something that will completely off put you from the brand then just bear that in mind so um, i will link her account and everything down below so you can check she has a like a highlighted instagram story mm -hmm. on the experience i think but i would have to double check but i believe if you go on the site it will say no returns so yes. you just have to read the fine print especially when ordering from smaller indie brands yeah i'm not saying don't support odin's eye i just want you to be aware of this yeah <laughs> mm -hmm. um but anyway that is all from us we will quit uh yammering on and yeah. we hope to see you in the next video bye, bye.